Divum Ditto at tries to be all things in one location to the point where you can actually get very confused as to what you're looking at when you're navigating this app. So it's kind of the feeling that I get for the Ditto itself where it's trying to be all things to all people. What we're looking at right here is the new pixel deviation page. Think of it this way, when you first start this up, it's letting you know, hey, these are artists and their designs that you can have show up on your Ditto or other Divoom products. So it, it right now is showing new, but notice at the top here we have Galleria, Expert, and Groups. If we scroll over, there are different areas. Right now we are on the newest. We can go over to Follow if we were following anybody. We can come over to a particular stylization, which in this case is Love. This is recommended based on things that you've looked at and or have added to your favorites. Skip over to Characters, where you can search for particular characters. There is a search up there. We'll get to that in a second. Seasons, emojis, patterns. I mean, it's, it's limitless, the amount of things that you can scroll through. If you're like me and you're not really an artist, you can use other people's stuff on your Dboom. What we're gonna do is come over to Expert, and here this will show you particular members of the pixel art community and things that they have done. If you notice, there's favorites and how many people have viewed it. If you click on that, you can send it to your Ditto, as well as you can add this person as somebody you'd like to follow. There's just, there's a lot going on in here. Come over to Groups. Right there, you've got some groupings. Uh, and we can come over to search. Here you can see specific searches that I was running. I do wish that these would actually kind of clear themselves out as uh, you go along, but if we come over to Star Wars, and you saw I searched Star Wars several times, you get everything pixel art related to Star Wars, which is really cool. Uh, and you know, you can come over to users, and then you see top users for the word Star Wars. We're gonna go back. So that was the search function. Like I said, that was this page, which it brings us to automatically. And that is the landing page. Down here, you can, if we hit the plus sign, create your own. You can either do an animation, a design, or text editor. If I select design, you can draw your own pixel art. And like I said, I am not terribly uh, savvy when it comes to artistry in any way, shape, or form. Uh, you can scan your own, you, you pretty much, you know, if I come over here, I say I could do camera or I could do the Pixar art community. So if you have something that you'd like to take a picture of and try and make it into some sort of art, you could. It's not gonna look the greatest because again, it's pixel art depending on the size dimensions and colorations of it. Uh, you can then save this or save it to your SD card. There's lots of functionality here. Uh, like I said, it's trying to be all things to everyone. We are gonna come over to the right, which is our messages. And this is not messages for your phone being pushed off to the Dvoom. This is messages as part of the Dvoom pixel art community. So you can see here, I haven't done anything. So I do not have any people who liked me. I don't have any people who've sent me comments. And I also do not have any followers. That's not bad. I just don't do that because I'm not artistic in that uh, fashion. Up here, you got your three dots. You can turn off anything that you don't wanna see. Last but not least, on the right-hand side, we come over to me. And this is your Divoom pixel art page. You can get a bunch of medals for doing lots of different things. Uh, I'm not going to go through that because, well, I'm not using the Divoom in that fashion. However, you'll notice that you can see lights, tickets. This is a weird, this one here, it's like a almost gambly, like every, every couple of days you can come in here and get points and those points can be use, because here you can see that went up, to purchase uh, other Divoom products using spins that you get from there. The reason that I bring you to this page in particular, not to show you the local gallery, your uploads, or your favorites, but this is one location where you can add more Divoom devices. You can see your devices listed there. If I was connected to the Ditto right now, you would see that right there. But if you are connected to your Ditto and you come down to device settings, here's a lot of information that I wish I knew about ahead of time and didn't have to dig through all those menus to try and find. You can set your clock display to 24 hours, display song titles or anything that's coming across. So in my case, when I'm listening to podcasts, when you first start up, it will scroll the title across the front of the Dvoom. Shake, shake uh, to adjust brightness. Eh, hit or miss if that actually works. Uh, so this will change the brightness when not in use. Energy saver mode will automatically hibernate if 
no activity is detected for five minutes. This is the one that I really care about, which is the change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Remember, power on volume. This, this is very important because if you have your DVOOM volume low and you power it back on, it's gonna go back to the default volume, which tends to be very, very high and can be a little startling, we'll say. Uh, startup logo, you can manipulate the startup logo right there. So if you don't like the one that starts up when you first start your DVOOM, you can change that right there. Notification, startup power off and connection sound, you can change that. Light intensity, so how bright is your DVOOM when it first turns on and off, you can slide that around. And then auto power off, you can do 30, an hour, three hours, six hours, 12 hours, or never. By default, it is on never, but that is where you find the settings to really manipulate, change the way that the ditto functions. And I really wish I knew where that was. Originally, up here in the corner, this is your account information, not gonna be going into that. And we're gonna come back to the box in the middle because that's where you start things off. Next, we're gonna to go to the left, which are things that actually involve the ditto itself. Here we go, I have the ditto in frame, and if I select channels, this allows me to change, change the look and feel of particular screens here. The first one being a clock, so if I don't like the look of this one, I can change that, and you see it's reflected over there, you can change the colors. This also has a rotating screen of weather, temperature, and a calendar. Let me tell you, this is the screen that I leave this thing on the most, and there you go, that's the outside weather, and then it will flash to the temperature. The last icon here is actually kind of like a, a favorite, so I don't use that one as much. That will control the brightness. Like I said, this is the one I leave it on all the time, especially since I've been working from home a lot. I, I kind of like being able to see what day it is, what time it is, and the weather outside, even though I'm not going outside. Coming across to lighting, that's this one here. Um, you can change lots of aspects of this. I haven't found a real use for this, but it's there. Recommended, recommended. This will cycle through recommended pixel art things. And again, this is pre-programmed in there, so you can't really change anything. You'll notice that there were some Star Wars in there because you saw me doing a lot of Star Wars searching earlier. Visualization, this is, think about it, if you're playing something and you had those old audio visualizers in Microsoft Windows Media Player, the, these are what these are. As sound goes through the DVOOM, you'll see spikes. You can make your own if you want. Uh, again, not artistic enough to actually do that. Custom, these are things that I found and placed onto the DVOOM itself. You'll notice that I was doing a Star Wars theme. There are other pages that you can do. So if you wanted to add more, what you would do is you click the plus sign and then you would search. So in my case, I come, I come back up to Star Wars here and I will just find one of the Star Wars things that I searched for. And what we're gonna do is I'll add the Death Star. And there we go, the Death Star is saved. And then that will transfer over to the DVOOM itself and it will rotate through these every 30 seconds, as you can see up here. And you can select the time to rotate through if you wanted to. You can also trash this entire tab and start over. Oh, so I have to upload it. I forgot to do that. So there you go. You can see it's uploading to the Ditto itself. And there we go. Now it's added to the, the cycling. And then if I wanted to create other ones, I would just come in here and do searches. So that's, that's really nice with the customization. And that's the end of the built-ins for that. And if I come over here, you can say on startup, where do you want it to go? Any one of your visualizations. I just, like I said, mainly use it on the clock. Down here at the bottom, if we come over to Discovery, this is where they pretty much threw everything else for the DVOOM. It can do a lot of other things that aren't by default displayed on the Ditto itself. They kind of throw in here design. You've got animation, so th those are those things that you can get to before. Games, all the games that you had access to on the DVOOM, it's the Ditto itself, you can get through here. You lose some of that tactile clickiness doing it from the smartphone itself, but you have the ability to do so. Pixel coloring, that's again built in. Planner, you can, daily planner, baby planner, or child planner, uh, baby planner. They're, they're, like I said, they just throw so much stuff in here. Alarms, mixer, you've probably seen a lot of people do this one. It's interesting where you can kinda throw different instrument sounds in there. And then again, across the top you actually have instrument sounds. So really, it's, it's, it's a fun little toy that you can play with. And then here, we have more. So that was Mixer. I can edit what icons I actually want to show up here, and I can drag them down from the bottom here. So any of these uh, things, I'm going to hit cancel. If I wanted to drag up 
the letter editor or the pixel coloring or the radio. There, there's radio. Not the greatest in my opinion, the few that I've tried looking for. Yeah, connection error is what I tend to find, but there are radio stations that you can do using the Ditto. And then planner. So if you wanted to adjust this stuff up here, you could. Uh, like I said, there's just a lot that they're trying to throw into this app. And here you go, experts. So this is kind of like the catch-all area. And this is the main page, which is trying to get you to put art onto your Ditto itself. There's, there's a lot going on with this app, but if you really want to get all the features out of the Ditto, you're going to have to use the app at one point. In fact, if I come back the main page, which I generally use, which is the timer, weather, and calendar, you will have to connect it to your phone via the app just to make sure that the data for the weather and temperature outside are accurate because this has no internal way of knowing that. It's feeding off of the phone. So that, that was a extended look at the application. It has changed quite a bit from the other people that I've seen who have done the DVOOM Ditto uh, reviews in the past. So this appears to be the current as of 2021 app. It probably will change in the future, but this was the look at it right now. And there is a lot to do within the app. Hopefully you found some part of this uh, useful.